Jantad Dal United Chief Nitish Kumar has been sworn in as Bihar's Chief Minister with BJP as the new alliance partner. Nitish Kumar cut ties with Lalu Prasad Yadav's Rashtriya Jantad Dal and Congress this morning. This marks JDU Chief's fifth flip-flop in the last decade and his ninth swearing-in ceremony as the Bihar Chief Minister. The Janta Dal United Chief has exited the 28-party opposition bloc INDIA. Sources say that the BJP and Nitish Kumar's Janta Dal United have also finalized a seat-sharing agreement for the Lok Sabha election, which is due in three months. There are four fundamental reasons why Nitish Kumar's exit is a major blow to the INDIA bloc. First, India's state of Bihar was central to INDIA bloc's arithmetic. The opposition alliance of JDU, RJD, Congress, CPIML, CPI and CPIM made it a formidable force in the state. For the present NDA, this would have meant a loss of 20 seats from 39 seats that the party had in 2019. Second, after carrying out the caste census in Bihar, Nitish Kumar, after releasing the caste census data, became the face of INDIA bloc's caste census plank. The slogan such as Jitni Abadi Utnahak. Third, remember that the first meeting of the INDIA bloc took place in Patna. Nitish Kumar initiated this meeting. Now, with Nitish gone, questions will be raised over the viability and even premise of the INDIA bloc. And lastly, Nitish Kumar's exit from the INDIA bloc only adds to the perception of Prime Minister Modi's invincibility. Till now, BJP has formed government in 17 Indian states and union territories. With a recent power shift in Bihar, numbers would now stand at 18. Responding to Nitish Kumar's alliance with the BJP government, Bihar's former deputy chief minister has warned that the game is not over yet. Signaling at the Lok Sabha elections, Lalu Yadav's son has stated that Jantad Dal United will be finished in 2024. Dal United jo party hai, With Bihar switching to NDA, the BJP is witnessing a boost in the upcoming general elections. BJP is hoping to improve on its 2019 tally. We earlier spoke to Sandeep Ghosh, who is an author and political commentator from Kolkata, and this is what he had to say about this situation. INDA Alliance has been unraveling for some time. And this uh, shows that another just sort of bold or nut falls uh, apart. But I think one is making uh, too much of it from the INDA point of view. Uh, the real implications uh, of this are uh, for BJP. BJP was genuinely concerned about going to these elections alone in Bihar. Bihar is a big state, as you mentioned. They had 38 seats. And if they, have, if they uh, lost a large number of seats, that although it may not have uh, affected their overall tally, it would have still been a, a loss because BJP is highly dependent on the states of North India. They know that they have uh, limited firepower down south, where uh, apart from Karnataka, they do not um, have a very strong base. So they cannot afford to dilute the position in the north and uh, West Bengal, uh, last time they did well, but this time still West Bengal is a big question mark. Uh, UP and everywhere else which they swept, uh, there is always a worry about some bit of anti-incumbency. So they had to protect their turf in North, uh, North India. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.